the other day when I made that very dull unboxing video of an ADS-B antenna, I was doing some gardening and I was watching geese. We've got a pair of Egyptian geese uh, that live uh, on the property and there's many more around and about the lake. And I was watching them flying in ground effect or rather just doing nothing in ground effect. And it interested me very much. Um, the pair of them, well, I'll put a little clip just before I put this together. I, I was again out in the out in the plot and uh, and the pair of geese uh, descended down onto the dam and flew. But I'll put that at the end of this. So anyway, back to um, what I have in the pot, as it were, in X-Plane. I've got a little flying boat. Uh, so why not give it a go in that? And that's what I did. So I thought, well, maybe I can get down to low level and see if the throttle changes uh, as the machine gets more efficient right down in ground effect. Ground effect is said to be within one and a half wingspans of the surface. And if you can get down in there, you're supposed to be able to use a lot less power, just like the geese are doing. No flapping required. Um, it also gave me a chance to play with something called cruise mode, something which I've not used in anger and cruise mode is is like fly by wire b um, but it's got heading lock i'm going to read this straight from the um straight from the wiki actually and the way it works is if you have any aileron or rudder input then it flies just like fly by wire b so it holds altitude until you use the elevator to change the target altitude at the rate of fly by wire climb rate and it adjusts airspeed based on throttle and when you let go of the aileron rudder sticks for more than half a second, it sets an internal waypoint at your current location and projects a target waypoint a kilometre ahead. And note that the heading lock will only activate if you have GPS lock and have a ground speed of at least 3 metres a second. As it flies along, it heads for the target waypoint and constantly updates that target to always be one kilometre ahead, leaving the previous waypoint as a position that you centered the aileron rudder sticks. As long as you don't touch the aileron rudder, it will run the same navigation system it uses for waypoints. So that includes crabbing, cross-tracking, so it will accurately hold that ground course even in the face of changing wind conditions. And it says in the wiki, one of the nicer aspects of cruise mode is how it handles rudder. If you give it some rudder, then the roll controller will keep the wings level, but the plane will yaw with the rudder. So you're getting a wings level turn, allowing you to rotate your flight to a point. Uh, and point at whatever geographic feature you want to head towards. And then when you let go of the rudder, it'll head straight for that point. And you can also do the terrain following with it. I I've been quite impressed. Well, very impressed, actually. Um, so when I had a little look at the graph, I don't know with this sort of doing this voiceover different to, to watching the video. But uh, when I look at the little graph, I could see there was a subtle change in in throttle but not much so i thought i'd try another airplane uh, uh got longies in the hangar as it were the x-plane hangar and that um that really flew very well and very slippy and i think the longies certainly showed um showed the effects of ground effect i don't know how well x-plane actually simulates ground effect and lastly well what's the biggest thing because obviously the bigger the wingspan then kind of the higher i can be i can be up at 20 feet uh, if, with a 40 foot wingspan aircraft and that's a bit easier to hold so i got out a big airplane as well as you will see um so a lot of fun i'm going to do test flying airplane on tuesday so uh i've been using my rc controller to fly explain get my thumbs back into practice as well so that's that for this week a little bit more interesting the dull video that i was making when i did the adsb antenna one uh, is running a mission planner on Linux and I'm not sure even I'm gonna gonna put that one out because that is very very dull anyway enough for now like subscribe do whatever else you need to do on the tube of you and don't forget to watch us at 2100 GMT every Tuesday for drone stuff this week cheers for now bye bye
a pair of geese just down here have got silent but these are my wig inspiration shall I frighten them just been down further down the plot but this pair fall off the rocks like a lead balloon and then this camera's not going to do it but when they oh no there they go down there when they get when they get on top of the water they glide like hundreds of meters look they're still gliding that was a glide from there having having fallen like a stone to the water's edge first and then extended the glide in ground effect and they do that every single time they don't flap like billio and try and fly from there to over there they just use ground effect 